Hey, what's going on? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone, and you know what's in this box? A guitar that we're gonna give away when we hit 30,000 subscribers, and I'm super excited to do it. This was the guitar that you picked in uh, over about a week's time uh, that we're gonna modify and do some fun stuff to, and then we're gonna give it away to one of you when our channel hits 30,000 subscribers. If you're new to this channel and you have not subscribed, uh, hit the button and hit the little bell next to it you have to do that in order to enter, and then you have to comment on one of these videos where we're talking about this stuff. Let's get this thing out of the box and check it out. I haven't even opened it yet. Hopefully it's not damaged. Here we go. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, one sec. All right. Well, there it is. For $200 at Zounds and two day free shipping, we have a whole electric guitar in whatever their, this is a Ibanez AX120 and whatever their Pelham blue kind of thing is. So one of the reasons why I wanted to pick $199 guitar when we were doing this contest is because this is a beginner guitar. And when you're first shopping, I want to show you what you can expect when you get it out of the box. Now I've not touched it. I don't even know anything about it. We just pulled it out of the box together. And there's a few things that you're gonna wanna do with a $200 guitar when you first get it. One of them is you're gonna wanna take it to your local guitar tech, or if you have a really good retailer uh, where you bought it from, uh, you're gonna wanna have them do a setup on it. Some of the things that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna have them make sure that the intonation is correct, make sure that the fretboard, uh, the neck is, the neck relief is set properly. I can already tell right now that these frets are, have some sharpness to them. You know, it's a cheap guitar, but these are all little things that we can fix uh, and it would probably cost, I don't know, 50 to 75 bucks or so to have, have it properly set up by a professional, and then you would have a great guitar. Yeah, the fret ends are a little, little rough. If you want me to do a video about how to do that, I can show you how to do it without taking it anywhere so that you can, you can do that without paying somebody to do it. It just takes a little file from Harbor Freight and a little bit of time. So if you want me to show you how to do that, we can, we can make a video about that in the future. So the mods that we're gonna do to this guitar are new pickups. We're going to replace the wiring. We're gonna put some push-pull pots in there. We're gonna replace the switch. Although the switch feels pretty nice. The pots feel the normal $200 guitar kind of pots, kind of stiff a little bit. Uh, the hardware is, you know, it's made overseas it, like a normal cheaper guitar, but you know, it, it's good. It, it looks fine. I don't see a problem with it. Uh, the tuners, yeah, those tuners are a little on the cheap side feeling. We're gonna go ahead and replace those with some Klusen 19 to one ratio, really nice tuners. I actually ordered them this morning. And I think we're gonna put center punch pickups in it so that we can coil split them and they'll still sound awesome. But this is gonna be a really cool guitar. Bolt on neck, nothing wrong with that. Real nice comfortable heel, nice comfortable neck. And on a lot of these cheaper guitars, they're gonna go with a satin finish instead of a glossy finish. But to tell you the truth, that's my favorite. It feels nice and smooth. And especially for a beginner guitar, it's gonna uh, be very comfortable. After we fix these, this fret situation, this neck is gonna feel really nice. It's a little smaller on the nut end. I don't know what the measurement is, but it feels nice. It's got nines on it, I think. We'll probably set it up, set it up with tens. I don't like nines at all. So we'll set it up with tens. We'll give it a fret polish with lizard spit fret polishing kit. And we'll make this thing into a pretty sweet guitar. I tell you what, let me go grab my Kemper and uh, let's just hear what this thing sounds like. We'll, let's just tune it up right out of the box, no setup or anything, and see what this thing sounds like. <laughs>
So first impressions, a couple of things right out of the box with a $200 guitar. Um, a lot of people jump through the comments all the time and say, that $200 guitar is going to be a piece of crap. You need to spend more money, blah, 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 blah. If you are a beginner or if you are the family of a beginner, do not listen to anything those people have to say. And here is why. Yes, a higher priced guitar many times, but not necessarily can be of higher quality. However, a lower price guitar, such as this $199 guitar that has a couple of problems, and we'll get into them in a minute, uh, can be corrected for very little money. So let's talk about those couple problems. One is the setup needs to be done. It's not 100% intonated, so that means that the saddles aren't set up 100% perfectly. Uh, the frets have a lot of sharp edges on them, so they need to be dressed. I would change the strings right away. The strings feel like they've been sitting on there for a while, so they're a little, they're kind of a little gross, and I would actually put tens on it. Uh, but again, if you just expect, and honestly, of any guitar at any price point, doesn't matter. I don't care if it's five thousand dollars or if it's two hundred dollars. Have it professionally set up, right out of the box, and many, many of those problems will be equalized from day one. This guitar is great. It feels great, it plays great, it's fun, it's light, uh, it looks really nice. I mean, a bound neck on a $200 guitar, come on, man. Like a three, four, yeah, a four layer pit guard, speed knobs, humbuckers. I mean, what else could you ask for for $200? You know, back in the 70s and the early 80s, I remember when I was a kid, Getting a $200 guitar meant that you couldn't even play the thing. Um, this thing, I would definitely, like I said, have a setup done on it before I spent much time playing it. However, uh, like a lot of people want to, you know, blame sharp ends on, sharp, sharp fret ends on, you know, the quality of the guitar, but actually it has a lot to do with how they're stored and stuff before you actually purchase the thing. This is an awesome guitar. It's going to be really, really fun. We're going to put some center punch pickups in it. We're going to do a proper setup on it. We're going to polish the frets. We're going to fix the fret ends. We're going to put tuners on it. We're going to change this out to like some Jimmy Page style harness wiring from JerseyShoreGuitarGarage.com. We'll put a link to all that. This is going to be really cool. And then when we hit 30,000 subscribers, I'm going to give it to one of you. What do you think of that? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, if you're, in case you're curious, uh, we're using a um, Fender Super Reverb Profile, the same one I always use in every demo video that I've always done for all the times that we've done these things. Uh, this is going to be really super fun. Thanks for hanging out. Get in the comments. Uh, if you have any suggestions, I don't know if we'll be able to pull them all off on the same guitar, but if you have any suggestions or things you want to see, let me know and maybe we'll, maybe we'll work it in. I don't know if we can, but maybe we'll work it in. That'd be awesome. Get in the comments. Make sure you comment on this video so you're entered. Make sure you're subscribed and that you hit the bell so that you're entered in this video um, or in, in this giveaway. Um, and we'll be having two or three or four probably other videos that will qualify you for this video as well, or this giveaway as well. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you soon.